Whoever thought VHS tapes would be cool again, I actually kind of like these, man. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to today's video. This is a segment I like to call Gifts to the Viking Samurai, some cool stuff I received from some of you. So this is an unboxing video too, because I don't even know what this stuff is yet, and I thought it'd be fun to share. But anyway, this first package, this first box is from Mike the Machine Bruce. I interviewed him on the channel. You should check out those videos. I'll link them in the description below. Follow him on Instagram. All that information is below. And if you really want to blow up your neck you got to check out his neck flex training device i mean this dude's got a 20 inch neck but overall he's just the badass he's a strong man he's a he's a guy that was a champion in shoot fighting wrestling judo the guy's done a lot but let's see this gift here that he got me okay it looks like a uh, a picture now it's packaged very nicely there's a uh, shredded paper and bubble wrap but this uh, picture frame is definitely not as strong as he is. It looks like the top of it cracked during shipping. No big deal. I could fix that. I can glue that. But... Alright, what do we got, man? It's like a pretty cool uh, picture of Bruce Lee here framed to Dave, Mike the Machine. I'm assuming he drew it himself. It looks really nice. It's good artwork. I could put that uh, back there. It almost kind of... It's similar to the uh, the Rambo 2 one, right? Actually, it's very similar. John Bravali, official Rocky artist, actually made that print. Uh, you could check... You could buy that stuff at Icons and Art. But this, this is an exclusive. This is... I'm assuming Mike the Machine, if he drew this, doesn't sell him. But uh, this one's cool. So, yeah. Thanks, Mike. Okay, so the other package I received was from Charlie, uh, who I'd mentioned in the previous segment. He sent me some uh, VHS tapes, and I got a whole lot more. Charlie is another badass, badass judoka, who uh, ran his own school, ex-cop, etc. So these are pretty hardcore dudes, uh, both of them. But let's see what we got. There's all kinds of tapes in here. <laughs> Whoever thought VHS tapes would be cool again? I actually kind of like these, man. <laughs> uh, Sidekicks, good old Chuck Norris film. And then we got, oh, this is an interesting one. Jaguar Lives. This is with uh, former undefeated world heavyweight karate champ, Joe Lewis. He needed all his nine lives to survive. Yeah, that's an interesting one. Joe Lewis, good old karate champ, Joe Lewis. Uh, what do we got else? The Ultimate Fight. The world's top martial arts fighters in real hand-to-hand -hand combat. Really? It's got Ernie Reyes Jr., Ernie Reyes Sr. in chemo. Honor the code. All right, that's a that's a flashy, flashy cover, isn't it? I never even heard of that movie. All right, what else do we got? We got a shrink wrap copy of Double Dragon, the film that killed Mark Dacascos' theater career. Now, obviously, he would continue to do a lot of straight to video movies but uh yeah this one pretty much ended his theatrical run which is a shame because he really kicked things off strong no pun intended with uh, only the strong but uh that was the one that kind of you know got him straight to video speaking of which uh jeff speakman the expert of course you know him from the perfect weapon that was really his only theatrical release but you know he had a slew of uh straight to video films when revenge isn't enough. But revenge is always enough, isn't it? Oh, we got another one. Jeff Speakman, the action star of the 90s, Street Night. This is a Canon Films movie, by the way. Very cool. You know, it's it's no cyborg, it's no blood sport. It's not even a Black Eagle, but it's uh it's a Street Night and it's still a Canon Films film. Alright, what else we got? Memorial Day. There's only one man you can count on when the final countdown begins. Be glad he's on your side. I actually never heard of this film. Kind of looks like a, a Time Cop ripoff, maybe. Who knows? I'm still kicking. I must be on Broadway. Ah! 
Okay, we got Escape from Atlantis. The greatest adventure is finding your way home. Oh, funny enough, uh, Jeff Speakman is in this film too, though he's not the lead, though he is in here. So, that's another one I've never seen, never even heard of. Uh, what else we got? Oh, this is cool. The Immortal Masters. Uh, so I guess there's Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris, Ed Parker, Robert Trias, Mike Stone, Bill Wallace, Joe Lewis, Thomas Connor, Fred Absher, Sam Allred, Jim Hawks, and Bill Packer. Okay, so the people you will see in the Immortal Masters all had a tremendous impact on karate in the United States. The late Robert Tria is known as the father of the American karate is documented as having the first commercial dojo in the U.S. located in Phoenix, Arizona. The name Bruce Lee is synonymous with karate worldwide. You will see these and many more on this outstanding video. Enjoy it. It was made for your pleasure and information. So it sounds like maybe a, a mini documentary on all those guys. We got Land of the Free, another film that has Jeff Speakman, not as the lead, but he is in it. And this is a uh, classic PM Entertainment. They did a lot of these martial arts type films and action films in the 90s. Actually rented a lot of those at the video store. That I never heard of though. Oh, look at this, man. Kill the Golden Goose. You know this movie's old when you get these VHS cases, right? This is cool. 1981, Master Ed Parker versus Master Bong Su Han. In a film, of course, not not in real life, but yeah, that's cool, man. So the master of Hapkido battles the originator of Kenpo. Now, of course, most of us were exposed to Kenpo because of the perfect weapon, Jeff Speakman. But prior to that, Ed Parker, which uh, you know, funny enough, Jeff Speakman went out, wanted to expand his training, and he traveled to California to meet Ed Parker and train under him. So they got a cool history together, and it's kind of cool that Ed Parker was uh, basically taking part in some films, and then Jeff Speakman kind of took it to the next level. Uh, but unfortunately, the career didn't quite pan out. It wasn't his fault. There was like a lot of other things going on. In fact, you should check out the Jeff Speakman video that I did. I'll link it in the description below, kind of talk more about that. But anyway, I got all these VHS tapes now. I should probably get a VCR. I got to go to like... Uh, you know, the thrift store, the Salvation Army or something. Maybe I can find one used. And uh, thanks, Charlie, for these tapes. And, of course, thanks, Mike the Machine Bruce, for that cool picture of Bruce Lee. Yeah, anyway, let me know in the comments section. Uh, do, you, do any of you guys collect VHS tapes? Because I'm I'm starting to amass quite the <laughs> martial arts film collection thanks to uh, these generous donations. Anyway, until next time, guys.